Okay, so today we're starting section 6-9, writing fractions as decimals. Um, when you do this, you're going to be converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Remember that if your fraction is less than 1, not a mixed number, then your decimals should be less than 1. Okay, um, if it's a mixed number like it is here, it should be greater than 1. And basically all you have to do is make sure you put that 4 out in front of your decimal. So when you convert a fraction to a decimal, you divide the numerator by the denominator. Remember, the top one is the numerator, the bottom is the denominator. So 1 divided by 8 is going to be a decimal because 8 cannot go into 1. So I add my decimal point and divide all the way through, and you get 125 thousandths as your answer. If it's a mixed number, the 4 is going to go out front, and what you're going to do is you're going to divide your numerator by your denominator, and that's going to be the numbers that are going to be behind the decimal in your answer. Okay, so that's how you convert a fraction to a decimal. Now, when I convert a decimal to a fraction, you're using place value. Okay, so you're going to use place value to write it as a fraction. This is said, are written as 85 hundredths, because the 5 is in the hundredths spot. Okay, remember this is the tenths. Hundredths, after that would be thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, and so on. Okay, so 85 hundredths I know can be written as 85 over 100, and then you're going to simplify. Okay, so I divided the numerator and denominator by 5, and that's how I got 17 twentieths. Okay, remember that when you're doing, you're converting your fractions to your decimals, your decimals to your fractions, those are equivalent to one another, they rep represent the same thing. Okay. So we're going to start off by writing each fraction as a mixed number. I'm sorry, each fraction or, or mixed number as a decimal. So I'm going to take 2 divided by 5. 5 does not go into 2, so I add a decimal point and a 0. 5 goes into 20 four times. Okay, so my answer is 4 tenths. Okay, 5 sixteenths. 16 does not go into 5, so I add a decimal into 0. 16 goes into 53 times. Could be 48. Add a 0, bring it down. 16 goes into 20 once. Add a 0, oops, bring it down. 16 goes into 40 twice. Goodness, add a zero. Wow, get eight. Bring it down. And 16 goes into 85 times evenly. So your answer is 3,125 ten thousandths. Four and nine fortieths. So you know the four is going to go out front, so it's going to be four point something. Take your 40 and divide it into 9. We know it's going to go in twice. Okay, so it goes into 80. Subtract my 80, get 10. Add a 0, bring it down. 40 goes into 100 twice. Again, get 40 this time. Add a 0. I'm sorry, get 20. What am I doing? 20 this time, add a 0 and bring it down, and 40 goes into 205 times evenly. So I get 4 and 225,000, so to make sure we add that on to the end behind the decimal. Okay, once again, your mixed number just means that 4 needs to go out front. Okay, and my last one, 10 and 4 fifths, so I know it's going to be 10 and something. 4 divided by 5, and my decimal point, 5 goes into 48 times evenly. Okay, so it's going to be 10 and 8 tenths as my answer. All right, so that's converting your fractions or mixed numbers to decimals. Now, when I write it as fraction, it's the same thing. I know that this is going to be 6 and 7900, so I'm going to write it out as a fraction using place value 6 and 79 hundredths, 
If you can simplify it, you simplify it. If you can't, that's your answer. And in this particular problem, I can't simplify. So that's my answer. Okay? And then I have the next one. This is 0 0.185, but this means it's 185 thousandths. So I need to simplify this. If it ends in a 5 and a 0, I know 5 can go into it. Okay? 5 goes into 185, 30, right, 15, 7 times. 5 goes into 1,000, 200 times. Okay, I can't simplify 37 and um, 200 anymore, so that is my answer. Okay, so when you write it as a decimal, you're using place value, but then you need to simplify it. You always have to simplify your answers. Okay, so that's what we're doing as far as converting fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. If there's any part that's confusing to you, make sure you ask one of us tomorrow um, so we can help you out because this is going to, to roll into what we're going to do the following day with percents to fractions. Okay, thank you for watching.